Hello everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, Analytics Advocate at Google, and today I'm joined by John Mesh, who is a Product Manager on Google Optimize. In this quick tip video, John is going to walk us through the Optimize interface um, and teach us how to navigate around there and what's really inside. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to John. Great. Thanks, Krista. So once you're in Optimize, we'll just do a quick tour here of the different main components of Optimize. Now on this page, this is the accounts page, and what I'm showing here is one particular account that I have access to. And within that, you can see there are a few different websites that I've made. Now we call these containers. And within each container, that's where you have all of your experiments. You also link a container to your Google Analytics property. Now let's do a quick tour of what's on this particular screen. Up in the top right, of course, you can switch which user you're logged in as. In this menu here, you can actually take a look at different things like your email settings, uh, go to our user form, send us feedback, or go to our help center. And then on this icon here, this is where you can access other products related to Optimize, Google Analytics, and the rest of these tools like Google Tag Manager, Data Studio, and Google Surveys. Now on the list of accounts and containers themselves, you can of course edit different aspects of these accounts and containers. So you can do some of that here by going to this overflow menu. You can also look at the activity that's happened within this account to see who, which things have been changed about different experiments or about the containers. This icon here lets you access your user management. So this is a great place to go and say, I want to have other people manage users. I want to make sure that some users can see experiments but not necessarily run them. Or maybe other users are the people who can change everything about the experiment. And then finally, you can add more sites here. Now, at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and jump into one particular site, and that's this Sierra's demo site. So once I go in here, um, you can see I've got a list of different experiments that are running on this site or in draft mode. And I've got a few different drafts all set up to go here. Uh, I can change those. I can get into any one of those. I can also look at my running experiments or go down a little farther to look at some of these ended experiments. Now, a couple other things about this page. Now, I skipped over this before, but this particular menu here, you can actually go and search through all of your accounts and containers if you have a lot of them and find the one you're looking for. You can also go back to home with this icon here to get back to that accounts page. The other thing that you'll notice up here in the header of this page is this activity button here. And this is a great place to look at the activity for one particular site. So if you want to see where experiments are started and stopped, that's where you can check that out. You can also do a little bit of filtering if you have a lot of drafts or different status. You can look at archived experiments if you've cleaned up a few of those. But let's go ahead and do a little bit more overview here. On the right side, you've got this container information, and that's a great place to look at, get your IDs for your container if you need to send those along to someone, if you need to get the snippet to install that on your site, or that's also where you can manage your link to Google Analytics. We'll do a little bit more of a walkthrough of the setup in a different video. So let's take a look at one particular experiment. We're gonna go into this one down here. And on this particular test, you can see I've got a couple of main tabs here. The details tab, and that's where you do most of your setup. And also the reporting tab, that's where you can see how things are going from the statistical perspective. Now, in this particular setup, I've just got a couple of variants in this test. I've got one original, and I've got a variant. The variant's running at 95%. And I'll show you a little bit later how you can edit those particular variants. But at the bottom here, you also have your objectives. And so these are the, all of the measures that come over from Google Analytics. You can set up your description and hypothesis, and I've done a bad job. I should have put my description in here before, uh, but I can go ahead and add that now. We'll just call this hypothesis. We'll find a winner. All right, and then I can also change the targeting, and I can do things like change the weighting of the number of percentage of visitors to target. I can also change the weighting of the variance, and uh, this particular one is set up more as a personalization type of test. Now you can see down here, I've got just one URL that I'm running on this, but if you had more targeting conditions, that's where they'd show up. The last thing I want to show you on this tab is how you get to the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and save that hypothesis change I made and go to the editor. Now, once you're in the editor here, this is where you can do a lot of different things like making different changes to your text, or if you want to do things like edit your HTML, there's a lot of things you can do there. Uh, but we'll also have a separate video getting a little bit deeper into what's involved in that. So let's go back to that details page. And finally, there's the reporting tab. And this is the place where you can see all of the details of your particular experiment. This one ran for about three months, and it was obviously a demo, so there's not too much interesting data here. But you can see a quick overview of your improvement of different metrics that you're looking at, as well as diving deeper into one of those particular metrics. So that's it for now. 
Thanks for uh, watching this video and stay tuned for more quick tips. Thanks guys.